To thy brother, I know who you are when I know who I am, the brotherhood and sisterhood of the family of man, uniquely individuated, directly from the source, walking our own path, yet on the same course. We each came here from and of our own free will to live life, remember love, and enjoy the thrill of expressing the experience that only love is real, reflecting reality in all that I see, think, and feel. Divinity in me is divinity in you. This is truth we all once knew. I remember you as the one within the one I know as true. Impacting the increase of influence for every one of you. Holographically, fantastically true. I am me and I am also you. Traveling together in oneness on our own journey back home. We live, we love, and we bless. Sounding the tone of the ohm. Love each other and treat each other with respect and care. Love yourself and love your neighbor with your hands and prayer. Today is a new day that calls for a new way. Join with me and say, Namaste. So these are fun rhymes. But the principle is the same. It's holographic and it's fantastic. We exist everywhere. We are eternal, infinite beings. I saw a really cool video once, uh, way back when, called The Powers of Ten. And it was this video where it started out in a normal earth scene. And then it goes up with this 10 times magnification. So it zooms out of this scene like in a park and goes out and then you see the earth and it keeps going out with 10 times magnification, zooming out until you see uh, the galaxy, the solar system, the galaxy, then you see multiple galaxies and then it zooms back in times 10. And it comes all the way back to this scene, and then it keeps zooming in. And it goes into, like, cells and these entire other universes and worlds that exist in higher and higher magnification. And what was really interesting is when it got down to so deep of a point, it looked very curiously similar to all the way out here where it was at a very high magnification, including different galaxies. And that is just within the range of our physical perception within the physical manifestation of reality as mass and form, objects. And yet creation is like this giant scale that some say is infinite. And we have this little sliver right here that we're able to perceive with our physical senses, this physical reality. And yet there are so many more and other realities going up and down than just what's physical. It's mind boggling to see the physical representation of it. And yet, in each one of these higher dimensions of reality that just become more and more collective into full oneness, we exist there as well. To whatever degree our awareness is open to it, to whatever degree we're willing to open, respond, reach into a higher knowing of ourselves and let that come in and influence our knowing of who we are, our reality. That reaches all the way up to God oneness and all the way down. We can experience as much separation as we want or we can experience as much oneness as we want. It's all available and we're at choice. So knowing that is an amazing awareness and yet it comes down to the moment of where we're putting our attention, where we're putting our thoughts, what point within self we're living from, expressing from, what we're listening to. And that's how these higher dimensions move into this dimension through us being a bridge, a channel. 
May it be so, because it already is. All this stuff already exists. Yet to our awareness and our conscious involvement in it, we can bring heaven on earth. And nice words, but yet that's the truth of who we are and really why we came.